Well, nice to see this young fighter healthy and making the walk here tonight. His takedowns are just incredible. High amplitude takedowns, great technique, explosion really with every shot, and seemingly no telegraph as well. So even a fighter with good takedown defense, more often than not, is not going to see this guy's shot come. This next guy has incredible takedowns. Both timing, speed, and of course, technique are literally top of the food chain. So here he is, the two-time Combat Sambo world champion, lightweight contender, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Undefeated for the mixed martial arts career, he has been dominant every step of the way. Joe, the Eagle trains out of the famed American Kickboxing Academy in San Jose, California. This guy is a ground and pound specialist. If he gets his fighter to the ground and gets on top of him, the results can be devastating. this heavyweight fight. Four years apart, some differences in height and reach as well. All right, we send it inside the octagon to the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record eye. Five wins, four losses. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Sudbury, Ontario, Canada, Mitch Gagne! And now, finishing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a grappler, only professional record eye. 27 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Pakistan, Russia, Habiba the Eagle, Imago Mena! All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times, defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. Here we go, first round, you ready? Are you ready? Let's all right, ready go. to go with live action here from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Nermago Meta. Now he goes for the single leg. He's fainting with the punch. Front kick to the face. Immediately shoots for the leg. Nicely done here in the early going with the takedown. Good shot. And he landed the right hand there. He's doing a great job of utilizing the ground and pound here. Really getting off some excellent shots. Posture's up here. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Nermago Metal. Full mount. Oh, it might be an armbar submission here, Joe. 
He's in full mount here. He's looking for the arm bar. First thing he wants to do is he wants to secure the arm, tie it up, then shift his hips forward, rotate the hips, throw his leg across his face. Then he wants to sit back, break the grip, extend his... He got and it, he got it. it. Nicely done. An excellent job in setting up the arm bar and getting the tap. Yeah, that is some high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu right there. Just the way he transitioned to secure the arm up against his body and ultimately force the tap. High-level stuff out of that young man here tonight. And one more time from this angle, we can see that arm bar locked in tight for the tap. And finally, one more time, no choice but to tap. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop to this contest at two minutes, 25 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar, Mitch! Well, what a submission win for this oncoming force here tonight. I think he's going to be a problem for a lot of fighters in this division. Tonight, though, is all about the celebration after getting the finish that he so sought coming in here tonight. You see how happy his coaches are, his trainers.